Uh, today's Wednesday, it's the 28th of June 2023. We're in Ibiza and uh, we're about to catch a bus. So we're going to catch a bus into San Antonio and uh, we're going to check to see if our bus buses work. Good if they do, wouldn't it? Well, here comes the bus. It's like one of ours. Well, that was a false alarm. Uh, that one was going to San Jose and uh, not to uh, well, we wanted to go San Antonio, he says another five minutes. And he also says we have to pay with a card, so it doesn't look as though our card's going to work on these buses. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, here comes another bus. Is this the right one? Yeah, it's the number five. station seems okay but uh, our bus was uh, about 15-20 minutes late but hey we're on holiday it doesn't really matter but uh, I guess for the workers it might be important um, so we're just coming out of the bus station now and uh, we're going to head towards the the old town old towns are usually the ones that are most interesting the most strangest of places you've come across Jehovah's Witnesses under a tree over there that was weird, isn't it? Uh, we're just going to have a little walk into some of the old town of Ibiza. Coming to life, the bars are opening up. Just in time for us. What time is it? Well, it's midday. It's taken us quite a while to, to get here in the end. Uh, we thought we were going to get the bus at 11 o'clock. Uh, but it was the wrong bus that came. And 
and uh, get to work in 15, 20 minutes for the bus. And uh, when we get on, uh, I did try the uh, the card from Mallorca. It's the same company, Transport is the, the Baleares. But uh, the card didn't work. The uh, there's a bus driver though, kept trying, turning it this way, turning it that way, and uh, nothing seemed to happen. So he just said, get on the bus. So we didn't pay anyway. So you don't know how much it costs? <laughs> so we don't know how much the bus fare is. Am I cheeky enough to try it on the way back? I don't know. I was going to ask in the office in the bus station, but there was nobody on duty today. Olive tree up there. Ooh, another, another hat. Walk down to where the water is now. It's been warm and humid since we've been here on this island, very warm. This is a way to do your deliveries. You need them to go up onto the first floor, you have a witch. How clever is that? That's why we've got a, stuff, a lot of stuff to get up there. So I hope the balcony will all pull down. Where many things drop off. Good delivery. was here yesterday with all the ladies, about 20 of them went to, uh, went to we went first to lunch. No uh, we didn't, we went for brunch. Oh brunch. Wiki Woo. Wiki Woo? Which was very, very expensive. <laughs> we did have a few cocktails. And then they went off to Ibiza Rocks to see. Which was very, very noisy and very, very good fun. See <laughs> a DJ called Charlie Doon, I think. <laughs> and Becky Hill was the main attraction. She was good. Not our friend Gok Wan? No. Uh, I think he's just been to Glastonbury, so he probably he? couldn't make it there. Yeah. Talking about Gaston, she mentioned at Glastonbury. A bit of shade here, I can see, darling. Let's get into that. This is San Antonio, or Sant Antoni. Mm, Catalan or Ibiza. So even though it is only 12 o'clock, lots of people sitting in the bars. It's a Bondi juice and cocktail bar. It's very much for So the uh, the waiter at the hotel told us to come to La Cantina Portmani. Pot so this is the Cantina Portmani. He says it's not too expensive. But he says it's very good. He says it's where 
you want to have a drink first or do you want to shop first? Or do you want to have a look around the shop store? Do you want to go to the port? Or... Too many choices. Should have a drink somewhere cool. Well, it is really hot, so we do need a, a drink. So we've come to the cantina, la cantina. Um, I've got my usual shandy, and I need us uh, a jam jar of orange juice. And a fan. <laughs> and a fan. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Well, we've just had a refreshing drink, so it's time for a little walk. And then uh, find somewhere, probably the same place for uh, a little light lunch. I think we're going to be eating loads. So we're going to be very tempted by a lottery ticket. On the way back. On the way back. Well, just so. Oh. Found a nice little shady street. Haircut yeah, ten euros now, that's not bad. So, I must say I have the perfect barber in house. And she doesn't charge me ten euros. Don't get any ideas, darling. Dear. Tiny tattoos, is it a good idea? It's a little bit permanent, ladies. Tiny tattoos, a little bit permanent, as I said. Permanent. I'm still not a fan of tattoos at all. I know some of my family have tattoos. Certainly not with my blessing. Take a tie. We're not going to do any takeaways. And I think we've probably gone up far enough. I think we need to go and investigate. There are actually more shops up there and things. But I think we'll go for the the scenic route down to the port, have a look at the big boats and little boats and whatever boats there are. And then are, we, are you going to take me off to Ibiza Rock for the afternoon? No, you can see Becky Hill, she's done today. <laughs> oh, today a day off. Thanks for that. Here's another one, Pinchos Tapas. Range of different tapas there. They've got fresh pastas at the top, pizzas, and uh, all sorts of different, typical sorts of tapas. I think that's probably the sort of thing that we like. We still have tapas. Have you? And the barber. Cross over the road. Shop there. I'm sure you can't have all sorts of water sporty activity things in this one. We're not doing any water sporty activities. We're we going to have a look at the port.
Jolly, jolly hot. This is the uh, Club Nautico. Club Nautico San Antonio. San Antonio. Hot money. Sports area. And just as you would expect, lots and lots of boats. Some of these are the, the typical boats that we also see in, in Mallorca, Gout, one actually over there called the Menoguin. Lovely breeze. I'm not going to walk to the end of there, there's too much sun, darling. I'll have a little walk around. Ooh. Wow. That looks big. <laughs> I'm sure it looks nice, but it looks big. It's a hotel. I think so. so I first thought it was a hotel, but now when Nita's just pointing out that there's loads of satellite dishes and uh, you wouldn't have that if it was a hotel. So private apartments right here overlooking the port in San Antonio. They probably got a very nice price to go with them. Thank in the bins, that's quite nice to see that uh, even at this time of the year they're doing uh, that, as Leon was saying, paint is drying as quickly as it's being put on. And uh, just here, someone cleaning the streets. Something we love about them, they offer as well is that they're all constantly cleaning, putting everything stick and stand. But it's very, very hot when you're exposed to the sun, so you need to get into the shade as quickly as possible. Quite a nice avenue of trees along here. This might be a cycle path we're illegally walking upon, but it's, uh, it's where the best shade is on the other See a bungee rocket over there. Things so like an elastic band flirts you into the air. Nobody doing it at the moment. And nobody doing the mad dogs and Englishmen. As we are walking out in the midday sun. Do you realise, darling? I think I'm missing PM. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me from Prime Minister's question time? I have to get that on catch up or something. <coughs> Just 
There's lots of uh, boat tours you can do from here as well. As we were sitting in the bar having a drink, someone came over and gave us a leaflet, giving us different options. Uh, one that sounded interesting, but probably a little bit too long for us, was to go to Fomentera. And uh, it's an island we have been to, we've stayed on Fomentera. And it is a beautiful island, but uh, a bit too long, I think. A trip around the harbour is about all I could cope with. does have a really good cooling effect. If you're close enough to it. As we came in we noticed the beach and there were no sunboats or parasols on the beach which is uh, for us seems quite unusual because every beach in New York pretty much has got parasols and sunbeds it's uh, one way that uh, we make money but, uh, a bit further on I can see some parasols but this one close to us now So here's uh, Pacha, well it's the shop of Pacha. Uh, we used to have Pacha in Palma, in fact it used to be right on the Paseo Maritimo years ago. Uh, really strange that Pacha was actually part of, uh, the ground was part of the church, owned by the church. So the, uh, the church were actually renting it out to Pacha. Um, I think then Pacha, or the church realised what Pacha was, and it went on for some time. And, uh, Eventually they were kicked out. The, uh, the, the locale is now, as far as I remember, empty. There's no, nothing there at all. It's just all there. It did open up as something else, and again, the church didn't like it, and so they left it to be derelict. Unlike the church in um, Portals Naus, because in Portals Naus, they've uh, taken over the Chiringuito, the bar that's on the beach, and they're using that uh, to raise money for homeless people, so that's really quite interesting. Um, Pacha did open a disco as well in Parmanova, um, and again that didn't last very long. Anita has come out of the Pacha shop with um, nothing. 42 euros for children's t-shirt. Very good. And I don't think, uh, I don't think that's quite suitable for any of our children anyway, Don. So I'm just going to walk past, back towards uh, towards the restaurant area so we can find somewhere to eat. And uh, I'm sure on the way Anita's going to want to call into the shops and have a look to see what's for sale. Uh, Anita's been tempted to go in the shop. I think I might have a purse and she sneaked it out of my bag. Oh, right. Oh, 
nice thing about these ships is they are air conditioned. So. I don't need one anymore. So this is the area with the, uh, the restaurant. And just across the road, that's um, apparently that, where that parking sign is, that the sort of police station there. The issues, you can report them to the drivers of the recommendation of Ramon from the hotel we come to La Cantina and uh, well we've had a, a rather unexpected choice. So here are patatas bravas, always a favourite whenever we go for tapas. Uh, but this uh, restaurant La Cantina has got a really wide menu and they actually have, have lots of different types of food. Uh, but we, because it's one of our favourites, have chosen Indian food. And so what we've got here really are Indian tapas, lots of different tapas with the Indian sauces to go with it. And uh, I'm sure we're going to find this really, really tasty. Not really expecting this in the beef, but why not? Just to give you some idea of the prices here, five euros for my pint of shandy, it's very noisy. Uh, Rosado was 3.50, uh, water was 4 euros, cheaper to have wine than water. Patatas Bravas 8.50 and our uh, Indian combo was 60. Total 37 euros. Oh, that was a nice uh, lunch, not what we expected to have, but so it's still very nice. Everything 5 euros. And this is actually a, a tapas bracelet. I think what we had was quite interesting. Actually, he did say, I think, the ring con, didn't he? Ring con is like the corner. You see that finger? Pardon? You see that finger there? I'm just Just uh, the wall there looks really interesting. And that's a man looking for windmills. And uh, just across the road, the church. I don't think we'll be going there today though. The 
olive trees. Yes, and the electricity from Palmer has the church. Oh, San Antonio. <laughs> 